Why do the cats always start eating when I'm filming? It's so bizarre. You're doing it on purpose. Good morning everybody, it is a bright sunny October day so there's loads of different shadows here in this video as I'm filming it but I guess I just apologise for that but at least we get some nice bright lights right? It feels summery even though it's October, kind of sick of this sun to be honest with you. Um, I decided to just run through my thoughts on Inktober so far and where I'm at with it and stuff like that because I know in my sketchbook tour video if you guys are up to date I did a sketchbook tour video of this bad boy and I showed the first three prompts um, of Inktober in here. Day one was poisonous, day two was relax, so I did that, and day three was burning I think, or roasted, so I was like oh she's a witch and she's being roasted. And then day four was spell, so I just did like an experimental piece. And so I wasn't really feeling Inktober, I think, because I've never done the prompts before. Until now, I've always just done whatever I want to draw. So I think I was struggling a little bit with the prompts. There's a helicopter, so. Now there's some really loud women walking by my house. I'm on the second floor and they feel like they're in my room. That's so loud. Also, I'm getting like a suntan sitting here. That is not right, is it? <laughs> Thank you, October, for this. Okay, they're quiet now. Are they quiet now? I don't know. Right, anyway, okay. So I decided to do the prompts this year and I had never done the prompts before. So I found it quite difficult to begin with because I wasn't really feeling inspired. And then I realised that, you know, 10 days have passed and I haven't drawn in Inktober in like 10 days and I started to be like, okay, well I guess that's a write-off for this year. But then I decided to restrict myself more because I think with art, when you restrict yourself, it makes you be more creative. So I kind of restrict myself with the prompt, but it wasn't working for me. So I restricted myself more to put a theme onto the whole scheme of what I was drawing. So I decided to draw like scenes from my book um, Princess Cursed to illustrate some bits in like in the book that is happening but that would work with the prompts because I thought that would be fun and then I just instantly felt like really into it and it just it was really enjoyable for me and yeah that was great. Before I start I just want to go into the materials I'm using so firstly I'm using the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen which is just like just ink pen and it's very nice and I use I used to use this all the time but it is quite hard to use um, with line control so I've just got this zebra um, something it's in Japanese so if you can read Japanese and let me know what it is because it, it came from jet pens I believe I ordered it from so it's like a, a nib like that but it is still a brush pen but it's quite nice I use that for finer details and then for washes I just put a little bit of ink in this Pentel pocket uh, water brush pen which is really dirty but it it does the job and then I just do washes of ink with that and then if I want to add more ink to it then I just I just get the tip of the pen and I just rub it on some ink or dip it in these inks and just use that because it works and I like doing that and these are my tools basically it's been quite simple and in sparingly oh shoot sparingly I have used these leaky inks red green and blue I'm gonna put them like that so they don't leak anymore I've used those sparingly in some places you'll see now okay so let's just get started you're like why are the images stuff shut up talking i know i'm sorry i'm just trying to explain myself and now i've got ink all over my hand let's zoom in because this is ridiculous you need glasses to see this stuff first of all i ran out of sketchbooks so this sketchbook came to me after i had done these images i did them on this cheap watercolor paper that i got from tiger and i, I quite like the textures that it gave but also it was quite hard to use but i think it works Pesto. Okay, number five was chicken, and I chose to feature two characters in the book, one called Jay and one called Satine. In the story, in this scene, this guy is being a bit of a 
douche to the group of friends that is the main kind of core of our story and she confronts him because she's pretty brave and he's like what what's happening so he is the chicken in this scenario and yeah I know that's a pretty big um, jump but I think it works number six was drooling and the story is about Cora who's the main character and she runs away to become a battle mage and she joins this school and in this school she meets a group of friends so these are the friends that she meets so the Satine, Jani and Corna and then there's another girl called Mim so it's like this big girl group and it's a lot of girl characters which I'm really into writing about and I find it fascinating like the friendships that they produce and how they interact with one another all that all that sweet sweet good stuff don't know what I'm saying and <laughs> they have to eat like basically like oats sludge and stuff for dinner because they they're at war at the moment so they don't have much to eat um I, I, it, it sounds very odd to speak about the story when you guys don't really know anything about the story but I guess these scenes will help explain it a little bit. So Corner likes the food and Cora is just like, mm, what is this? So she's like, you're gonna eat that because she would, she would devour anybody's food basically. And the other girl, Jani, is looking at her like, stop it, because she kind of reins her in. She's very bossy and brutish in your face but like very loving character and then Jani is kind of the girl that's her sidekick like her best friend but reels her in and tells her not to say things to people and she's just like nope gonna be bossy and nosy and stuff and she's like you gotta have polite manners but no that's basically the story of those two so when Cora first goes to this battle mage school, she's obviously very <laughs> exhausted. So I drew this scene that's not necessarily in the book, but I know I do talk about her being exhausted after training because they have to do sword training and fight training every day. And so I imagine that take somebody shouting, take off your boots in the room because she shares a room with all these girls that I've told you about. They all share a room together. So I imagine J Jani is telling her, take off your boots because she's the only one who would care about that sort of thing. All these events that are in these images don't take place chronologically they're all out of order so don't think that this is the story um this is in the beginning of the book so there you go um okay bye and then star i decided to draw the night sky a scene where cora runs away she runs away with this guy basically not because she's in love with him or anything but because he says he can offer a place in the battle mage school because he's a sort of a scout for them he comes up with a plan with her to lie about her not having any powers he sort of lies to the guards and the people that gave her entrance saying that she has powers and they're sort of friends in this instance but at this point of the story i think cora is sort of regretting her decisions to leave her home and but also excited about what's coming next so i really liked to draw that scene i'm not a huge fan of this drawing particularly but and it's nice to imagine what that would look like. All this time I've just written these scenarios down and never really sketched them out and stuff so it's really fun to see it come to life. Here's a little spoiler for week um, but number nine was precious and I thought the friendship between the two main characters Cora and Satine is very precious because they're sort of magical partners and they're soul twins. Do you mind, Pesto? I'm trying to talk about soul twins. I know you're not on the camera, but you need to calm down. So yeah, that's what I did for Precious, and I do really like this image. Um, I think it's really sweet and... Pesto. She just spilled all my gouache paints everywhere. No, no! She's in an obnoxious mood right now. Okay, sorry, precious. So their friendship is precious. I think a lot of the friendships in the book are precious because I think that's what the story is about. There's lots of different themes in the book, such as prejudice, um, bullying, but I think friendship is probably the core of the story. Flowing was day 10, and this is Corner, one of the other girls, the characters, the one who likes food and is bossy. And she's sort of like a martial arts fighter, so I decided to draw her maybe, you know, in the air kicking kicking some butt and yeah that was that number 11 was cruel and i was like mm, I, I really like this drawing but this drawing i didn't really like that much although it does paint the picture of the scene pretty well i think this girl looks a bit bigger than she is but i guess she might be quite big because in the school there's a lots of varying of different ages it could be like you know you're, you're still at the school at 20 because you're still training but anyway a lot of people are prejudiced against satine and her group of friends because they have a friend in their group who is who they think is a spy or just they're against her because she comes from the opposite side of the war i don't know 
know, I'm explaining too much, but it's a teen um, gets the brunt of bullying and the prejudice that happens in the book, I guess. I, I do like this scene, even though it's horrible, but yeah, I think it creates some good conversations. So next we had Whale. This is the video from Hell. And in the book, Satine can create anything that she wants with her powers. So she's sort of practicing here. She gets like this ball of clay and she can create something from it and she's just kind of entertaining her group of friends creating a whale and I really like this image because I like the way that it represents their friendship so we have Cora, Jani, Mim and Corner and Satine and it, I know it's a lot of names and that's probably the, the number one problem of my book is that there's a lot of characters but I think you do get to know them quite quickly but obviously me saying the names here now it's probably a bit confusing. Next we had Guarded so I drew the guards at the gate of the school. In the story this school has to travel around a lot because they are being hunted by the people on the opposite side of the war because they have these powers and the other people don't like that. Obviously I'm super oversimplifying the story just to make it understandable for you guys who haven't read it but yeah. And then Clock here with Cora in the beginning of the story and then sort of near the end where she's hardened up a bit and she's a sword fighter and did the clock in the background because I just like to show the passing of time and I really like drawing that clock that was really interesting even though it's a little bit wonky I, it was fun to do the the different levels and to look at medieval clocks and because that's something you never would really think about and I think that's the good thing about these prompts is it's making me think what would that be in this story and stuff like that so number 15 was weak and I decided to show Cora at the low point of the story which I will not describe more of but she kind of gets covered in blood and if you want to read the story and find out why <laughs> That's such a bad hook, isn't it? The character gets covered in blood. Go read it. Why? Yeah, so she's just weak there. There we go. I'm sorry about this light. The light is steadily becoming darker on this side of the table. Okay, I'm sorry about the changing light, but the ta the light is slowly drawing away from my desk. So day 16 was angular, and I decided to just kind of draw some weapons from this story. So there's a lot of um, swords and daggers and things. I guess I don't really mention daggers very much, but I assume some characters would be wearing them. I also delved into using this Carmine Windsor & Newton ink just because I thought it would look nice and I used it here to highlight that that was blood but it is very pink. I thought it would be more red but it's very pink. I like the overall look of this one a lot. And then the last day, which was 17, which I did yesterday and I kind of jumped the gun on because today is the 17th, was swollen. And this is Corner and Jani and I told you before that they have like fight training and stuff like that and that Corner is a martial artist so she would be fighting other martial artists and in my head in this scene she's gotten hit or something and Jani's just like put ice on it because she's basically like the mum of the group or the overthinker. And yeah that's that's all my submissions so far and I think I'll do, if I manage to keep it up, I hope I do, um, then I'll do more. And like I said, putting another constraint onto the constraint that I already had really helped me think of different ideas and different scenes and I thought this was really fun to do and I'm, I know that I go on about this book and stuff and I hope that you guys don't think I'm trying to sell you something because it's not what I'm trying to do, I'm just saying that that's what I work on because at the end of the day that's what my channel is about is what I work on, the stories I produce, what I'm doing with my time. So I'm just, yeah, I just decided to draw images from my book because that is what I'm passionate about and that is what I'm what intrigued me more. So I hope you liked seeing all these doodles and it kind of looks like a little bit of a comic doesn't it? It would be nice to do a comic of this but I've already written a book so that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> these are these are the images and I hope you like that. Sorry for the short video this week but I thought this would be quite interesting to some people. So that's it and I hope you liked it so I will see you next time guys. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I already said I'll see you next time so now, um, goodbye.